Hey guys, welcome back to the great Ace Attorney! The last episode was just awesome because we performed the dance of deduction with her, with Mr. Shawns and it was just awesome, the music was awesome, how things just fit together, it was, it was really something. So if you haven't watched that episode, go back one episode from here and watch the dance of deduction, just awesome. So why did we even perform the dance of deduction? To expose Nina, which is Nikolina Petrova, Pelotova, something like, what's her name again? Okay, so we can't hear really see it yet, but we exposed her because she looked like this when we entered this cabin and we deduced that this can't be true and she's just someone else. And it turns out it's Nina Pelotova or Nico, uh, Nicolina something something and Nina is her uh, nickname. So I guess it's time to get a little bit more out of her and uh, see what leads us towards the murder on Kazuma which we still are actually investigating. So clearly you aren't who you said you were. No, I'm not Grimesby Roylott. My real name is Nikolina Pavlova. Okay, here we go, guys. Everything you said was correct. You absconded during one of your company's performances in order to escape your homeland. Later the... Later that same night, you stole aboard this vessel. Which couldn't have been easy. The Buria is a huge steamship with vast crew. Could you really have snuck on board without being noticed? In order to obscure your true identity, you somewhat recklessly took the guise of an old gentleman. And you intended to se sever all links with your past by severing your long hair. Yet to a woman, hair is no trifling matter. My personal recommendation is to leave well alone. So, if it was just you about to cut off your own hair... Who was it that let out the scream we heard from outside the cabin? That veritable tinkling of a bell! Why, none other than this young lady, naturally! More like a full set of pipes, if you ask me. I was so scared when I ran away in Shanghai. I was sure they would come looking for me. That's why I decided to, how do you say, disgust myself so no one would recognize me. As a result, you transformed yourself into that questionable old man. I see. I put on the fur hat and fake beard. Then just before you came in here, I saw in the newspaper, right on the page, there was a picture of me. I was so frightened, I couldn't stop from screaming. I knew that if I didn't change my appearances completely, they would find me. So I decided to cut all my hair as fastly as possible. I picked up the scissors in my hand and... At that precise moment, we walked in through the annoyingly unlocked cabin door. Things happen like that sometimes, don't they? Things do indeed happen like that, from time to time. Are those two even talking about the same thing? There's just one more thing I'd like to know. What exactly do you have inside your traveling case? You were right. It is my dear friend inside. My only friend in the whole world. Please, don't tell anyone. If the captain finds out, if you say to any of the crew, your secret is safe with us, I assure you. But in return, you must tell us in as much detail as you can muster about the events of last night. Yes, all right, I will tell you. Well, Mr. Naruhodo, wasn't it something, Mr. Sean's great deduction? It was certainly something, yes. It was certainly something. It was. 
I'm just not entirely sure what. But at least, Miss Pablo has agreed to tell us what she knows. That's incredible. Indeed, it is incredible. Ah, and one more thing. Oh, yes, what? Observe your wrists. My... <laughs> oh, your hands! I coughed again? What? But how? True to my word, I have restored your shackles. Uh, when and why? There's still a shadow of gold ca guilt cast over you, Mr. Naruhodo. I'm sorry to say, it can't be helped at the moment. <sighs> can't it? Really? Anyway, let's listen to what Miss Pablo has to say. I can't go on not knowing. I have to find out what this pack of band that Kazuma-sama wrote about in his diary really was. Alright, so... Do we ex No, we just converse. What happened last night? Did you know that someone was killed in the cabin next door to this one last night? One of the crewmen told me this morning when I was eating breakfast. The man who died, he was a friend of mine. Oh! That's why we're trying to find out what happened. Did you notice anything unusual last night? Perhaps you heard a strange noise, for example. Perhaps people talking. Perhaps the ship was absorbed in a wild tempest? Perhaps its steam engine exploded? Perhaps everyone on board would have noticed if that hap had happened? Miss Pavlova, is there anything you can tell us? I don't know. I'm sorry, but all I could think about last night was that I had done and whether they would find me. I didn't notice anything that was happening around me. Oh, I see. Okay, so she didn't notice anything. That's unfortunate, but let's talk about her. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You've run away from your ballet company, haven't you? The Norwich Ballet? Yes. I'm traveling to Great Britain and from there, I want to go to America. I will never dance again. I want to forget everything about the ballet. I will start a new life. You wish to forget? A challenging proposition. When you have the striking tiara as a reminder. But the tiara is mine! I need it to live! I have no money of my own. The Novavich Ballet gives us only a little food and water, and we must dance all over the world. I had to run away. I had no choice. If I stayed, it would have killed me. So you ran away to protect yourself? Yes. And the crew of this ship, they have all been kind to me. They let me come on board, and they said I could hide in this cabin. If that is indeed the truth, Miss Pavlova, it creates a most intriguing conundrum. Yes, it does. What do you think about it, Mr. Naruhodo? M me? Uh, well, yes, of course. I think we should hear Miss Pavlova's explanation to what conundrum, I'm not sure, but... Alright, so what is that conundrum? Miss Pavlova, allow me to pose your riddle. According to this newspaper, it was only yesterday that you absconded from ballet. Now, that being the case... It must have been last night that you boarded this vessel. However, the SS Boria stopped by no port, la uh, no port last night. Uh, th that's it, of course. So how is it, pray, that you come to be aboard? Now that I think about it, the crewmen outside the cabin acted very strangely when we mentioned that. 
It was just after we asked him about when the occupant of this cabin came aboard. That is not your business. Yes, you're right. He did seem to be hiding something. An angel descended from the heavens, bringing grace and beauty to the stage. So, so, sorry, what was that? It is how the Russian newspapers describe one of my performances. And that is how I came here too. I descended from the heavens, because I'm an angel. Say so what? Considering English isn't your mother tongue, your description is very vivid. Mr. Scorves, what, Scorves once said, I never can resist a touch of the dramatic. It seems Miss Pavlova is the same. A genius descended from the heavens bringing grace and beauty to detection. Words once said about myself. A quote from a wonderfully extravagant advertisement for the adventures of Herlock Sholmes in fact. Yes, yes, Mr. Shirley. Anyway, it doesn't look like Miss Pavlova is going to tell us what really happened. Okay, unfortunate, really unfortunate. Let's talk about a friend thing. So the friend you mentioned is inside your traveling case, is that right? I don't think animals are allowed on board, according to the rules of passage. Oh please, don't tell, don't tell any of the crew. If they found my precious... Then the burly Russians would bestir themselves in unison to throw you and your case overboard, no doubt. Oh! So, re so reassuring, Mr. Sholmes. But what sort of pet is your friend? A little puppy? It is, isn't it? Maybe an adorable little rabbit? Ha! Huh, you credit Russia as a land with small as a land with small rabbits, do you? Oh, don't they have small rabbits there then? You may well ask. I have no idea. Ha! Huh. You two are miserable bunglers when it comes to understanding the nature of young ballerina's friends. Is it obvious? It must be a chicken. Really? Consider the benefits. Rousing wake-up call, daily fresh eggs, and when adver adversity strikes, it could satisfy the needs of sustenance. So you'd eat your friends. I remember that. Well, it would appear this friend's identity is a closely guarded secret not to be revealed. <laughs> she obviously doesn't quite trust us yet. There's something I should like to show. I should like to show her a thing. Maybe she might be able to shed some light on it. Okay, what might that be though? What do we want to? Not the paper seal. Not this. The article about the revolutionary, maybe. Let's present it. Miss Pavlova about, about this article. Did you know about this merciless revolution revolutionary already? No. But when I saw the picture, I couldn't believe it. He looks just like my, me in my disguise. Huh? Am I the only one around here with eyes? The other man, the one wearing the brown, he also said so. He said we look the same. Yes, he says a lot of things, but I have a strong feeling that besides you and the great detective, you won't find another soul on this ocean who thinks there is any similarity there at all. Mr. Naruto, I won't allow you to speak ill of Mr. Scom, uh, Sholmes. No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Okay, so... Is it the diary? Hmm... Let's examine the... everything here first. So we can go there, we have all of this. Let's start with the bed. Let me... Don't touch! Huh? 
I will tell you what you, what I uh, what I know about last night. But please, you must not touch my things. I how do you say forbid it? Oh, sorry. As well, you should be, young man. What vulgar manners you have! Poking around in a young lady's private belongings. Neither shall I allow it. Ugh, hypocrite. Okay, so we can't. Okay, so we have to show her something. So, is it the diary then? Yeah, it must be the diary then. This is the diary of my friend who passed away. His diary? Yes, and he wrote in, an, in it last night before he died. Something a little unusual. It reads, 1.23 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. And then a few minutes later, 1.35 a.m. It looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? I don't understand. It's strange, isn't it? But the ventilator he mentions joins to this cabin, you see. It's up there on the wall. In other words, this cabin and the victim's cabin are connected together. Oh! Miss Pavlova, has something occurred to you? Does the speckled band the victim mentioned mean something to you? Or the whistling sound, perhaps? No, I don't know anything. Oh. That's sad. Knock, knock. Excuse me, Miss Roylot? Mr. Roylot? Yes, what? Wow, she's fast. Captain would like to speak with you. You must come to Captain's quarters at once, please. Oh, all right, I will come now. What? You must leave now. Oh no, it's fine, don't mind us. Yes, please don't worry yourself, Mr. Roylot. Get out! The passenger said out! Or you want me to throw you out? Uh, it looks like we'll have to leave investigating this cabin until later. But we will come back, I'm sure. What a pity. I'm sure we'll come back. And so we lost our chance. Having still not managed to investigate Miss Pavlova's cabin, we were unceremoniously chased out. That is to say, we were quite literally picked up and thrown into the passageway outside. Oops. I pushed the wrong button. To be continued. Alright guys, so we concluded the first part of this chapter. See you on the next episode of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles! When we find out what the cabin, what kind of secrets the cabin holds in which Nina is living right now.